Hey everyone, today I'll be sharing with you my horse shoe box for a girl two to four. I am doing this in collaboration with Denise over at D Rogers and Sharon over at East Coast Stories. Both of these ladies make wonderful shoe boxes and they live near each other. So every year they get to volunteer at the same processing center and work together. So I do not live near them. I live very far away. I live in Canada. Um, I'm from Michigan. I'm American, but I do live in Canada. So I do think it's wonderful that these ladies get to work together every year at the processing center. So I'm sure most of you have heard of them, but if you haven't, I will have their shoe boxes linked in the description box below, as well as at the end of this video. And I am very thankful to both of these ladies, Denise and Sharon, for doing this collab with me. Um, so I am using a six quart Sterilite bin. Uh, we can get those at Walmart. So just a standard six quart bin here. And uh, I'm gonna pull out the first thing here a folder. Um, her coloring pages did not come with, like come in a book, so I just gave her this that she could color on it and keep her pages protected. She has some stickers here. And then I picked these coloring pages up from Dollarama. Dollarama is like a big lots in the States. It's kind of like, I guess that's the store, how I would describe it to you. Um, but yeah, just many different pages in here that are dual sided for her to color. And then I will also pull out her notebook. I got a little bit of water on this, so I just put a sticker there, but a nice exercise book for her to use when she starts school. And then here is her note from us. I just put our picture and message on the back and it says horses can take naps standing up. When they do lie down to sleep as a herd, at least one will stay standing to serve as a watch guard. So I hope she enjoys that sweet picture of a horse. I love to give the toddlers a book. So she has this touch and feel ponies book. Um, so it's got good sensory, it talks about a smooth nose, soft coat, warm blanket, hairy mane, and a silky ribbon. And I like how there's a child riding a horse on there. So I hope she enjoys this touch and feel book. And then a really cute shirt here. I bought this a couple years ago at Old Navy. I do not remember the exact price, but I know I, it was under $2 and it says squad goals. So I have given this little girl a lot of clothes. I hope she's like my little girl and she loves getting clothes. <laughs> so I don't typically do that for my shoe boxes, but I did, it just worked out with this one. So I'm, I'm trusting that this little girl uh, needs clothes and enjoys clothes. So here are her shoes. I was very excited to get these. These I also bought a couple years ago and I do remember they were $4.97. I had gone into Carter's during the winter time and they had all their summer shoes marked down. So these are great quality and they're actually washable. So I just left the little tag in here. It says it in French and English. And then I was able to get three pair of size four or five underwear in the first shoe. So three pair of underwear. There's the first shoe. It's got a, these are size nine. My five-year-old daughter wears size nine shoe, so I think they'll fit a toddler. And I like the, the wide uh, toe front. Most kids love getting markers in their shoe boxes, so I gave her three of these. She has a toothbrush with a cap. And then I gave her two pair of ankle socks. I love these little pony ones. They have a little apple to kind of go with the apple on her book. So these are her shoes. And the socks. Her crayons to go with her coloring book. And I put her soap on the bottom. She could also use this for her soap. 
her little soft friend. I thought he looked a little bit like Spirit. And this I picked up from Amazon in bulk, so I have quite a few of these. And I am a horse. <laughs> I thought that was cute. So I like that she can hear the sound that a horse makes. And then a little necklace, but she could also just wear it and like carry it around and play with it. I think we all get these balls at Old Navy in the gumball machine for 25 cents. And then she has some satin biker shorts that have horses on them, very pretty. She could even wear these uh, like PJs. And I gave her a, these are size four or five. And I gave her a white tank top. She could wear this with her biker shorts. But I also gave her a dress. My five-year-old daughter loves getting new dresses. So I hope this little girl does too. It's beautiful. I picked this up online uh, during a sale with Carter's. I really like Carter's. And this is a linen dress, very pretty. I did not do a color theme with this shoe box. It's just all kinds of different colors. All right, so that is her dress. And then I gave her a dual-sided sharpener, a comb. These are great quality. We use these combs as well. And for a fun little toy, I gave her this little doll. You can get these at Walmart for very inexpensive, but she rides this little rocking horse, but uh, she can also ride her little soft toy as well. Ride the little horse here, like so. So this little girl can play with her doll and horsies however she would like to. And then here is her pencil bag. Like I said, lots of different colors. I gave her this skateboard sticker because it goes perfect with her little doll that's riding the rocking horse. I think that's so cute. Now this is used with Play-Doh, but I just put this in her pencil bag. She could use it like a little stencil and trace it or play with it in the dirt outside. She has a jumbo pre-sharpened pencil. With her scissors, I just put it in this coin envelope to keep it from marking things up in her, in her box. And then an apple eraser to go with the little bit of apple that she has in her shoe box. And then I picked these pencils because they kind of go with the silver stripe on her shoe. They're nice and sparkly. And then she has a Melissa and Doug horse puzzle here. And I'm gonna, when I pack this back up, I'm going to put this in this little party bag that I picked up on Amazon in bulk. I have a lot of these right now, but she could use this as a little purse or to keep whatever little treasure she wants to. She has one more of these little bags with a different horse on it. And inside I gave her some ponytail holders. Did anyone else call them ponytail holders when they were little? <laughs> I always call them. I know some people call them hair ties. Um, but yeah, the pony goes with the pony box. <laughs> And then I picked these up in bulk from Amazon for $1 each. These are really pretty. I thought this one would go nice with her dress and then of course a horse. My 15 year old daughter can wear these as well as my five year old daughter. So I love how the cord is. It'd be very comfortable on their skin um, and it can uh, be loosened or tightened if it, if it needs to be. So these are really pretty little bracelets that I hope she enjoys. And then the last thing is just a nice thick washcloth for her to use. And that is my horse box. So I hope you enjoyed this shoe box. 
And if you haven't already, I hope you go and check out Denise and Sharon's uh, sh horseshoe boxes that they did, and I will have them linked for you. So thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later.